Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how to check CPU temperature in Windows 11. But before getting into checking the CPU temperature, let's find out about the ideal CPU temperature. Well, basically, you know that everything has to be around 50 and 50. And for the processor's temperature or CPU's temperature, uh, they have divided into several categories. Specifically, the one which I am mentioning, uh, that is the high-level CPU temperature. And that is not very good if you are, if your CPU is running for a long time in that high uh, temperature. Well, the uh, high CPU temperature level is around 85 up to the 90 degrees Celsius. Well, uh, if your PC is, uh, basically, if your CPU's temperature is running around these temperature, then it is bad news for you. Well, also remember that other applications like uh, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, uh, the latest version of them, if you are using a normal computer, then running this application will really increase the CPU temperature. So, my advice is that you have to use an older version of these graphical programs suppose uh, you have to use adobe after effects uh, maybe 2017 2015 or an older version you have to check uh, your computer now uh, there's also uh, the thing if you are using your computer daily around 10 to 12 hours for gaming for editing or for your office work uh, remember that you have to check the cpu temperature well uh, because running the more you run your computer, the more uh, it has the high probability that the temperature of the CPU will increase. Now, the manufacturers of the uh, companies, they have basically built in uh, a protection procedure which specifically applies on the CPU. Uh, and it is, uh, in other words, it's stopping the CPU from damaging itself. Well, uh, to put in simple words, when the CPU got uh, the CPU is getting hot, uh, this is thermal. Well, basically the manufacturers they are adding it on the CPU. Now this thermal is going to pop itself around uh, the CPU, and in the meantime it is trying to cool down the uh, processor. To put it in simple words, basically it is uh, slowing down the clock speed uh, and the other stuff which are within the processor. So if in the end, if it is failed, you know, the C CPU will fail and that is very bad news for you. So basically you have to check it. Uh, I have also a guidance for those who are running their computer for five up to 10 or maybe more or less. Uh, they have to check the CPU's thermal uh, compound. Well, basically, as I said before, over time, this thermal is going to use itself and if you're uh, CPU do not have this thermal then you know that it is bad news. You have to uh, Take it to a repair shop or use just simply buy a thermal uh, compound and add it yourself Or take it to a repair shop and they will do it for you. That is not a very big deal so now uh, Getting into the main point of how to check the CPU temperature. Well, Microsoft has not built in a software within the windows 11 to check the cpu temperature it is not even available in the uh, previous editions of the windows but still there are many third-party applications like you can see that i have also linked them here there's the nzxt cam cpuz core temp uh, hw monitor and more now the one that i am uh, quietly fan of that is the nzxt cam which is quite marvelous and it is not paid uh, it is free you can just simply use it in the guest mode so let's go ahead and begin the process just you have to download this uh, oh also uh, some uh, pcs uh, they have they can check the cpu's temperature from the bios but not every computer so basically in this video i'm saying that this is only for the normal people so let's go ahead let's just go ahead and download the application just click download cam Okay, I have already downloaded that one. Uh, just install it. Now it's going to take a while to download the uh, software, so it depends on your network. So let's wait. Okay, now it is installing the application.
Okay, now you can see that the application has been basically installed and now you can see that the CPU details. So from here you can see that here is the model, the stock frequency, the current frequency and the TDP which I don't know what it is. But the temperature of the CPU is basically now you can see that it is running the 30, uh, around, we can call around 40. And now you can see that mostly it is running in the same temperature as you can see. There is also uh, the loading process and the clock speed that it is running you can see that how much uh, it is for the clock speed and besides uh, okay hold on please if you go back uh, basically this is going to look like this if you click on the CPU details it's going to show the uh, full details now if you go back uh, here you can see that the other uh, hardware properties that are connected to the motherboard of a computer you can see them basically you can say that this is the default gpu which is built in within within the processor uh, you can see that it is using around the five percent and here is the ram usage network storage and the current process that are basically using most of the cpu gpu ram and the network and uh, the system species you can uh, specs uh, you can also find them from here you can see that uh, here is a cpu gpu motherboard ram storage well basically you can see that the ram is basically showing with all the details and there's also the thing uh, the series now this process this processor is a part of the kb lag which i cannot find it uh, you cannot find it within any details of the windows 11 even the uh, information let me have to show you information some information if you open it you cannot uh, even find it here basically uh, hold on please hardware components nope components nope no this has to be here it is the general basically the general yeah you can see that here is only the details that is showing the about the processor but it is not showing which series it is so it is the Kabylek and the default clock speed, the current, and uh, if I have run any game in it or no, the lightning, overlocking, cold, uh, cooling fans, power, and many more. So basically these are reports which are mostly available on a desktop computer. Since it is a laptop, it do not have those functions available within. So this is how you can check the CPU temperature in Windows 11. So I hope you liked like this video, uh, hit the like button, let me know your thought in the comment section and I will meet you guys in the next video. Oh, do not forget to subscribe into Guide YouTube channel. So have a nice day, goodbye.